mind telling me why I'm here? Don't play dumb with me, Walter. You know why you're here. I suppose it has something to do with this. It has everything to do with that. Yeah, well that has nothing to do with me, so... I mean, I prefer chickens. You're mocking me. Do you think this is funny? I think it's hysterical. You're gonna tell me who helps you, and you're gonna tell me now. All right. All right, look. You're right. I couldn't have done it alone. It was a lot of work, and I needed some help. Who helped you, Walter? I'm getting to that. I needed someone that was good. Good at getting what we needed. And someone that could stay underneath the radar. And who was that someone? Carmen. From the International Affairs Club. I wouldn't expect that kind of behavior from her. It's like I'm gonna have to have a little talk with her and her parents. Yeah, good luck. There's somebody else, isn't there? Golly gee. I don't remember. Don't fuck with me, Walter. Come on. Why would I fuck with you? Who else? Waldo helped me dump these little rubber ducks into the pool. All 800 of them. But you won't be able to punish him. He's long gone from here. And where is he? Oh no. No one knows where Waldo is? <laughs> you listen to me, you little shit. I'm done playing games. You're gonna play ball or you're facing a week suspension. Oh no. Please don't suspend me. Two weeks! No. Stop. Whatever will I Expelled. do? Expelled! Gosh, Principal Dents. You're being awfully hard on me. I hate to see you like this. I really do. And I want to help find the people that did this. I have one sitting in front of me right now. Yeah. That may be so. But you have no proof that I actually dumped these rubber ducks into the pool. You can't just expel a student on a hunch, can you? You just gave me a confession moments ago. Did I? With the help of Carmen San Diego and Waldo? <laughs> you think you're untouchable? Let's be clear. You're going down for this. Quite frankly, I don't even know why I waste my time with people like you. Well, I think it'd be tragic to hear that your legacy be ruined by allegations of infidelity with the faculty staff. Are you threatening Not me? Not to mention the hidden cameras in the boys' locker room. I think that would be the hardest to explain to your wife. You're bluffing. Am I? Why are you doing this? You fucked me out of getting into Princeton. And then you fucked me out of that scholarship. And now I'm gonna fuck you right back. Look, don't blame me because your academic career is less than desirable. Yeah, well don't blame me when your life goes up in flames in about 10 minutes. You can't prove any of this. Oh yeah? Try me. I had one of the IT nerds run a trace on the camera. And I was shocked to see where the surveillance feed was being routed. How much? What? How much do you want to stay quiet? Come on, Harold. You really think this is about money? What do you want, then? I want to see you destroyed. I want you to feel how helpless you truly are when your fate is in someone else's hands. By the end of the day, you'll be washing skid marks out of your cellmate's dirty drawers for two cigarettes and a reach around. What do you think, Ducky? You think that's fair? I think that's fair. Sweet justice. Look, I don't do these things anymore. Yeah, I tried telling that to the judge. How about we make some phone calls? We'll call some Ivy Leagues, I'll get your scholarship reinstated. Yeah, I don't really care about that stuff anymore. I just wanted to make sure the scales were balanced. I already alerted the police and your wife. 
of your indiscretions. Walter, wait. Ciao. You know what you've done? Do you know what you've done? <laughs>